Cappy, Cappy, Cappies, Cappy. I'm just coming back from Georgia and I had the opportunity to spend time with two of my favorite Capricorns in the whole wide world. One is my Opa, my Papa, and the other one is my sister, Mambo Sierra. So I was able to connect with both of them and make spiritual baths. And it was just a beautiful thing to pick herbs and be with like-minded people. So um, I enjoyed it. Cappies, y'all know I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. So Cappies, this month... For the October reads, we're going to be using the Season of the Witch, the Samhain Oracle, and it's by Gidea Rose. Let me put it up there. Let me get it straight for you guys. So if you're interested in the cards, this is what we're using, Season of the Witch and um, Gidea Rose. And I think I got this one on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got this deck on Amazon, but it's a pretty cool deck. And I got a Halloween deck in Georgia, too that I'm going to be using sometime this month also. But Cappies, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So Cappies, the first thing that I feel like you guys are going to be dealing with is um, could be some health issues that you need to look out for. Now, it may not be with you. It could be with other people. If you are a doctor, a nurse, a practitioner, um, you know, a nurse's aide, a caretaker, whatever, I feel like that you're going to be really pulled this month to do some healing work. So be prepared that spirit may use you in a very um, conventional or unconventional way. Some of you just could be making a connection with someone. It could be as simple as having a conversation that helps this person get on track. For some of you, this literally, you could be working in a medical field and spirit is pushing you to do a little bit more. So I feel like there's some growth that's coming in. For some of you, if you've been thinking about going to school for any type of medical um, you know, certification or your degree, holistic medicine, um, things that have to do with plants. If you're thinking about creating your own products, I feel like some of you are going to be drawn or led to something that um, is spirit-filled to get you to do it. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be opening up spiritually. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. I do. Are you serious during a Capricorn reading? Yes, they do. They always hear it. Some of you pay attention to frogs. Now, I'm not sure what frogs have to do with Capricorn, but I feel like that there is going to be a wide, um, could be spirit animal type of energy, but I'm getting a lot of frogs. So you may have a frog that comes up and ribbits, ribbits. Maybe it's talking to you. Maybe there's some type of spiritual connection. Maybe some of you keep pet frogs. I'm not sure. I think they bring in prosperity. So a few of you may be getting ready to get some type of opportunity with a job or a money opportunity that is coming in. And it may be in the form of um, green or green money, or maybe there is some um, artifact, a frog artifact that you have that you're going to sell. I'm not sure, but frogs just came to me. And I feel like that for a lot of you, they're either going to be attracted to you this month or they're going to be around you this month, or there's, there's something special that's going to be coming in with frogs. Could be your spirit animal or your totem animal. I'm not really sure. But I definitely feel like it's opening something up to prosperity um, or opportunity. So there could be a new job. You may have gotten something that opened up for you and the frog is kind of a symbol of, you know, this thing that is expanding or money that is coming in. Um, I definitely get expansion. Um, some of you, this is going to be in your waistline. So if you are emotional eating, you need to pull back on that. But I feel like there, if you're starting a business, be prepared that it is going to grow. If you're starting a new job, be prepared that there's going to be a lot of work that's coming in. If you're taking on a new endeavor for some of you, this is going to be something that elevates you to that next level, but you may have to put a lot of energy into it. Um, but definitely there is something with financial gain that comes out of this for you. A few of you might be grieving a relationship um, or an end of a friendship this month. Could be you're finding out somebody did you dirty. There may even be some conversation about um, cheating or a relationship. I feel like there's a letdown with a partner. Um, this could be a family member. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a friend. 
But I feel like there's some type of disappointment or let down. It could be something that you see, something that you hear, or something that is talked about. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde energy, so conversations can be really kind of tricky. For some, Mercury is going to help your relationship or your conversation get a whole lot better. If you're dealing with people who don't talk, they may be more talkative. For some of you, if you're dealing with people that do talk, you got to be careful that there's not misunderstandings because Mercury does deal with communication. And for some of you, I feel like there may be some things that are said that may make you feel some kind of way about certain people and you may not want to connect to them. Um, some of you may be hearing of a loved one that's passed away or is transitioning. And I'm sorry, my condolences if you're dealing with that. But I do feel like some news or something that's coming in about the ending of something, whether this is a friendship or relationship or either hearing about a friend or a family member that is transitioning or crossing over. Um, spirit is like prepare for... And I keep hearing um, the change, season change. I don't think this is necessarily harvesting um, your gardens, but if you do have gardens, this could be, you know, start pulling your stuff in, start canning, start, you know, putting things in the right type of order for you. For some of you, I feel like this is like making sure you put some money to the side. Some of you might have an issue that comes up that financially you need to dig into a little nest egg, um, or there may be something that comes out of, necessity that comes in real real quick and you have to deal with it so spirit is like make sure that you put some money to the side have something there that is going to be um available for a few of you this could be car issues um you may have a repair that's coming in some of you definitely are going to be looking at a new vehicle i just feel it i feel like there is if you've been putting a lot of money into a vehicle to keep it going and trust me i know that i had a lexus i mean i jump started that thing so many times it's ridiculous i put two engines in it and then when it died it was like let me go some of you might be dealing with a vehicle that's saying that. For some of you, though, this could literally be um, either a car or a house issue that is going to come in um, that may cause some problems for you or cause you to have to spend some money. So ha make sure that you have that money put to the side. I do hear spirits say check on your elders. Now, this could be um, Family members, this could be mentors, but there is something where they're like, check on this person. There may be some conversation that needs to be had. For a few of you, there could be some exchange with knowledge. If you haven't checked on your mother or your father in a while, it may be that you need to reach out for them. I feel like something is going on with the family, and I feel like this person may want to pass something on to you or talk to you about something, or there's a, an exchange of knowledge um, that is coming from this person. Be really careful that you are not allowing yourself to be taken to that next level with some fuckery this month with someone. I feel like there is something with screaming or arguments. Um, and Capricorns don't do all that. Y'all shut down. It's like, I don't want to do that with you. I'm, I'm over it. I'm going to go work in my garden or I'm going to go, you know, turn on my Netflix or I'm going to go, you know, binge watch it, eat my potatoes, just whatever. A lot of y'all don't like conflict. So if this is not you, you could be dealing with somebody who's coming at you really crazy this month. Um, they don't know how to talk to you. They may be very um, argumentative with you. Um, this could even be with children. Somebody throwing a tantrum tantrum is what I'm getting. It's like I'm not getting my way, um, so I'm going to make this big fuss about it. Now, it could be somebody that you're dating. could be an actual child. could be somebody that you're working with. But I'm getting that spirit is like you have somebody who's going to be acting really childish this month. And if some of you, you may be having problems with a child that you need to keep up on this person a little bit. Somebody wants attention. They're crying for some type of help or attention, but they're doing it in the wrong way, Capricorn. Could be drugs involved with it for some of you. Um, I guess something with secrecy. So if you have children and they're acting different, you need to go ahead and dig a little bit deeper with that because you may have somebody that is doing something they don't want you to know, Cappies. Um, but I feel like that when they do get caught, you may have somebody who is, um, they're throwing a tantrum. They're, you know, they're, they're, you know, like they, they got busted. So now they got to do this larger than life stuff so that, you know, they can deflect off the situation that they were busted with. So be, be smart with that. I'm also getting to be careful of wolves around you. Now, this is, I feel like shady people, people that are doing some, some really backhanded ways. The moon card keeps trying to come up. And this is to me like something that is being hidden. Um, this could be you trying to hide something from someone. Like I said, um, you could be dealing with a child or a very immature person that's trying to hide something from you. 
But spirit is showing me that it's going to come to light. So some of you, they may be telling you this. They may be telling you something in your dreams. Pay attention to any type of contracts, things that are hidden in the clauses. Um, don't sign anything that you don't understand. If you're dating somebody and you're asking them questions and they're going all around the world to tell you whatever it is and it doesn't make any sense, they're deflecting. You need to look a little bit deeper. Some of you are going to walk away from a relationship where somebody is lying. For some of you, you just got some shady people that are really watching you. And this could be on social media. This could be at your job. This could be with your family. But you have some people that are really like they're waiting for an opportunity to come in. And I feel like this wolf is, is pacing. Like it's, you know, it's like waiting for some type of opportunity. So some of you, this could be a spiritual fight. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that is doing some type of spell work and they're just waiting for an opportunity to come towards you. Or this could be somebody that you work with that's just trying to get the upper hand. But I do feel like somebody's trying to get the upper hand, Capricorn. Some of you guys are participating in some type of ritual, ceremony. This could be marriage. This could be spiritual cleansing. This could be spiritual initiation. But I definitely feel like there's something that is connected to the graveyard. Now, maybe this is Halloween. Maybe you're going on some tour or you're doing some type of, you know, um, graveyard uh, ritual. Um, Spirit is saying, make sure you cover your head. Make sure that you leave offerings if you don't already know. Even if you're doing this for a fun tour or something like that, make sure that you cover your head. You could pick up attachments. Um, some of you may be dealing with some spiritual energy in your dwellings i'm getting a lot of walking some of you may even hear somebody walking at night across the floor in your attic um now we know the veil a lot of people say the veil is thinner the closer we get to halloween i think it's been thin for a while and i think people that are really open to it are going to be experiencing some major spiritual connections this month be open to it don't be afraid of it some of you may be calling um these spirits to you, Cappies. So don't be afraid. Get ready for a harvest is what I hear. So some of you have planted the seed and this could be a job. This could be in a relationship and spirit is like it's about to, um, it's about time to be plick, pluck, plucked, picked. Whatever the harvest is, whatever you're doing with it, I feel like it's coming to you, Cappies. So if you've been putting something off for a while or you've been impatient because you're like, it's not coming fast enough, I feel like you have something that is really about to grow. And for some of you, I feel like it's going to happen during the winter months when it's colder. So this is literally getting some type of approval, getting some good news about a job. Some of you could actually be getting married. There is something about expansion or growth. So I feel like it's going to be happening soon. Colder months, Cappies. All right, let's get into the cards. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oops. Dun, dun, dun. So first card we have is intuition. Let's see. Next card we have is Banshee. Ah. Mm. Could be that screaming person. Next card we have is apples. I wonder if this is your harvest. Oh, and then we got the frog. Let's see. Oh, this one's trying to fall. Then we have Hallow's Eve. We have the healer. Oh, seduction. Interesting. We have grief. Potions and spells. And let's see. Third harvest. Journey, graveyard, some of y'all definitely, your vehicles are dying. We have elements, we have a rebirth, and let's see where that rebirth is taking you. Protection, happies. All right, so let's get into it. So first card, pay attention to dreams, synchronicities, your gut. This month, you have spirit that is coming to you and telling you, look, we're going to show you some things. We're opening some things up, but you have to pay attention. I would say for a few of you, um, this is showing um, things coming to light. Anything that's going on behind closed doors. Now, this could be gossip. This could be somebody trying to get the upper hand over you. Like I said, a few of you, I feel like that wolf. Somebody is kind of circling because they're trying to get the upper hand. This card is telling me that Spirit is saying you have everything that you need to see what needs to be seen within this situation. Don't overlook it. When somebody shows you who they are, 
pay attention. Pay attention to what they do. Pay attention to what's coming. You're not looking at it with this eye. You're looking at it with this eye. So I feel for a few of you, you're going to have some insight that comes in, and it could help you navigate a tricky person or a shady person. For a few of you, it literally is the opening of your spiritual gifts. You're starting to see things. You're starting to see you know, forms or visions. Maybe you felt them before, but now I feel like coming into this month, some of you might actually see some apparitions or see some spirits, possibly ancestors. But I do feel like there's going to be something that opens up with you and spirit is like, pay attention. Don't look at it with your two eyes. Look at it with your third eye. All right. Banshee. We definitely got an energy where this is hurt. This is pain. Now, it is saying, dear child, a warning. Um, unsung uh, lullaby. Swallow a nail and you can expect bleeding. Some of you may end up dealing with somebody that is not the best of persons or best people to be with. Um, this is showing, Spirit is saying, you got to watch your back. Intuition is right in front of this. So it could be pay attention to your circle. Pay attention to people that you're dealing with. For some of you, because it's coming right after a harvest, you may have something that is opening up for you, like a job opportunity or a money opportunity, but somebody's going to try to cause or inflict some type of pain or obstacle. Some of you could be dealing with um, a person who's being very immature. You could be dealing with somebody who is throwing tantrums. Like I said, this could be a child. This could be somebody that you know you talk to and they just start screaming and hollering. And maybe that's the way they communicate. For a few of you, you could be dealing with an older person who has a really bad attitude, like somebody who is really going through some things. Now, we got red eyes up here. So this person doesn't mean the best for you. If you're dealing with somebody that's showing you the negativity of them, if you're working with this person, then you may be looking at this person that they're looking at you as jealous or there's some type of I see you, you see me type of energy. I really feel like for a lot of you, you know what this person is or who they are. Um, some of you are definitely going to be dealing, could be a supervisor, somebody that is not getting their way. They want their way. And it, because they don't get their way, they're throwing a tantrum. Um, could be a very immature person. I feel like because of the eyes that you could even be, deal, be dealing with somebody that may be drinking a lot or could even be on drugs. So some of you, um, could be dealing with a person who has some type of addiction that doesn't want the best for you. Yeah. I definitely feel like that there is something that is coming in. Now with the apples, we do have a harvest, but this card reminds me of the poison apple. Pay attention to setups, things that people are trying to, you know, maybe they're pushing your buttons to get you to react a certain way, Capricorn. Um, if this is a new job, some of you, I feel like that you got to be careful of somebody who is not accepting you into the click. Um, this could be somebody who smiles in your face. But I feel like somebody is really trying to do you dirty. Um, a few of you, like I said, you may even already know the energy of this. But I feel like you have something positive that's coming your way. And you're going to have some issues with jealousy or resentment that comes in from this. Somebody's trying to figure out how you're doing, how, what you do, Cappies. How did, this, how did they get this, this job? How did they get this new vehicle? How did they get this house? And I feel like that this person is looking at you in a very negative energy. When you look at this card, this person is like, I'm helping you, but their face is kind of shady. They got them sneaky eyes. So for a few of you, pay attention to people that you're working with or that you're going into business with. You could be dealing with somebody that is a liar or a thief. And I feel like this person is trying to covet what you have. They're taking all the apples. So this is somebody that could be trying to get over on you. They could be pissed off too, because maybe you got some type of blessing and they didn't get it. And maybe you're holding on tight to this blessing, but I do feel like you got some opposition that's coming in this month from somebody. All right, now let's see. We have the frog card. Now, typically, I felt like frogs are very, um, I feel like they bring in prosperity. I know that sometimes that people say, oh, they tell foretell of darkness or things like that, but I don't feel like this is the case. She's holding a light. The frog is actually inside, and it looks like that she's kind of keeping him as a pet. So there may be some issue with, um, 
an opportunity that comes in that brings in prosperity or brings in some type of enlightenment. There could be some type of conversations too that may be beneficial for you. But I feel like that this person is showing something that's being illuminated and the frog is watching the light too. Some of you have something that's going to open up really well and I feel like it's going to bring in prosperity. And it could be that you're trying to keep all this to yourself. Maybe you worked hard for something. You don't want somebody to come take it and the person is trying to take it. I feel like that there's definitely some type of opportunity that is going to be coming in that opens your eyes, enlightens you. Pay attention to what's being presented to you for some. I definitely feel like a new job. Some of you, this could be some special payout that's coming in. A few of you, there may even be some type of um, something to do with a house. I feel like it could be a sale or landscaping or something that brings value to a home. So if you're trying to add value, I feel like that you are going to do it. And if you're selling, there is a payout that comes to you. There's something with prosperity that comes in. Now, let's see. This is all Hallows Eve, and this is about manifesting. This is about calling on your ancestors or your spirits that walk with you. Now, if you can look in the clouds, it looks like there's some faces or something that this person is calling these faces in. There could definitely be some new opportunity that's coming in where you're working with a lot of people. Some of you may have manifested an opportunity that is coming in. I feel like that there's going to be some spirit messages that are coming to you too, you guys. There may be some mediumship that is going to come in. Um, Hallow E, be prepared. If you're meditating or you're doing any type of rituals, it looks like that you may be calling something to you that is going to be really big. I feel that there is some major spiritual growth copies that are coming in. There's something with education, knowledge. Some of you could be teaching people. Some of you could be taking classes. But there's something with going back to school or learning something. And I feel like that there is bringing in other people. This could be your ancestors maybe backing this up. Some of you could be in a really big class. You could be um, some type of teamwork or working with a team. But I feel like that you're bringing people in. And I feel like that if you have an issue with your voice, say you don't, you're not used to public speaking or things like that. I feel like if you aren't, get prepared. You're going to be pushed in the forefront. These clouds and all these faces to me in it are looking at this person and they're listening to what this person is saying. So it could be that if you feel like you're talking and people are not listening to you, I feel like there's bigger presence that's coming in. Some of you, this could be personal recognition. You may get some opportunity where spirit opens a door or your job opens a door. There's some enlightenment and whatever it is, people are going to be looking at you. They're talking to you. Some of you, you may be having people that are trying to friend you or, you know, on social media, I want to get to know you. And it could be that your name is going out a little bit more than what you thought it would. Some of you are going to have some issues with that. I feel like you're going to be a little bit afraid. And I'm not sure why. It could be that you're an introvert and you don't want to have these relationships with these people. You don't want all this stuff to open up. But for a few of you, it could just be that you're not feeling like you're prepared for it. But I feel like spirit has already made a decision. We're bringing you out. We're going to put you in front of people. And for some, this could be your supervisors, your managers. If you own a business, some of you, there could be some marketing or promotion where people are knowing who you are, but there's growth that's coming in. And a few of you are going to see yourself in front of people talking. Leadership. You could be even teaching people things. This could be a class that you're putting on. Now, like I said before... There's definitely something coming in with healer, healing. Some of you might be moving towards a healing modality. You could be going back to school. You could be working as a healer. I feel like that there is some type of spiritual connection with this. Some of you have been a healer before in a past life. If you're a doctor, a nurse, a caregiver, it's because you've done this before. If you're a practitioner, be prepared that it looks like that you may have an increase with people who are coming in that need medicines, tinctures, there may be knowledge that you need to share. Like I said, a few of you, you may actually be teaching a class. Some of you may be going to medical school or taking some type of certification course where you are learning or you're growing. But there's, I feel like this is a magical connection with ancestors. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to recipes that come your way. For a few of you, definitely some type of recognition that's coming in because of what you do. And there are going to be a lot of people that want knowledge from you, Cappies. Even those that feel like I don't have anything to tell people or show people or give to people, I feel like you're going to be sharing something with people in the coming months, not just in October, but moving towards the new year. There's a lot of expansion, I feel like, that is coming in. Now, for a few of you, you really may be connecting with a new love. Um, this may be something where you're meeting someone, 
could be in a medical setting. If you work in a medical setting, for some of you, this could be somebody that just needs some type of healing. Now, for a few of you, be careful that you're not picking somebody up that's damaged that needs to be fixed or repaired unless you really want to get into this energy. A lot of you are in past, and I feel like you could be connected to this person through trauma bonding. Make sure that it's not that. If you are the healer in this relationship, you may be the one that needs to come in and do some of the work, but this person needs to reciprocate it. For a few of you, though, you could be connecting with somebody that was um, a taker. This could be seduction, seduction but no follow-through with this. Let me see why. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like for a few of you, you may have opened yourself up to someone and it's not going the way you want it. There could be some disappointment with seduction. Um, we got seduction and grief, turning your back on something. So for a few of you, you may have had a relationship that started or you were trying to start something and it just didn't, it didn't take off. Or either this person disappointed you. There could also be, um, I get catfishing. Some of you may have thought a person was a certain way and then the more you talk to them, you realize that no, they're really not this type of person. The grief is a letdown because we have seduction. You were all ready for it. Sexual seduction. I'm going to do this. I'm going to like this person. I'm going to meet this person and it's going to go like that. Yes, you're feeling it. But then we got grief. You know, maybe this person wasn't exactly who you thought they were. Some of you could be ending something that, um, or if this is a relationship where you thought it was more, you may have a person who is ending it and there's some grief behind it. I do feel like there may be some disappointment with love or sedu of seduction. Could be sex too. Some of you may have had your high hopes um, for a situation and it didn't turn out the way you wanted. Interesting. Hmm. Some of you, this could be an ending of a relationship or a divorce. Could be somebody cheating. We got three partners here. So there may have been a relationship that was um, compromised. There may be a third party that is trying to cause some problems. Some of you may have ended something or a person ended something with you because they started talking to someone else. Be careful with this energy. I feel like player energy, like somebody's coming in and playing games. Like they don't really... They're not putting the right type of energy into getting this relationship to go. And you may end up getting hurt. Now, it's a general read, Capricorn. You could be doing this to somebody else. Maybe you're flirting with them. They want more and you don't want more. But I definitely feel like that there's going to be an ending to something because of disappointment. Let's see. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody, too, that was trying to do some type of sex magic. This wasn't sex magic. Somebody could be trying to manipulate you into going their way. Maybe they're using that picture from 10 years ago on their profile and then you see them and it's not what you want. For a few of you, you may have thought something was moving forward and we got a lot of things in play here. You could definitely be dealing with a practitioner or you could be dealing with a manipulator. Hmm. Be careful with your diets too, Kathy. Some of you are emotionally eating because we have this that comes after grief. So you may have gone through some disappointment or something let you down and it's like, okay, now I'm going to go in there and make me a cake. Now I'm going to go in there and do this. Um, spirit is definitely saying, take care of your health, take care, especially if you're sugar, um, you're diabetic, or you're having issues with your gut, because I'm getting a lot of stomach um, things that may be going on, Kathy. This could be a little bit of constipation too. So be careful with your foods that you're taking in. Some of you, I definitely feel like that there could be some learning or education this could be even taking cooking classes. You could be a, cook, a, a kitchen witch. You may be um, trying some new potions. I feel like this is bringing in new products. So if you are a practitioner or you have a business where you're making bath products or spiritual products or food products, you got a truck. I feel like you're doing different recipes. You're bringing things in because you're trying some things out. There's a lot of knowledge that's coming in, you guys. So pay attention to dreams. Pay attention to classes to teachers, to mentors who come your way. Some of you, you may be the teacher and the mentor and you may be teaching people how to put things together like this. But I do feel like there's a lot of herbal medicine that's coming in, a lot of holistic medicine. There could even be um, thinking about going vegan. Some of you might be trying to get rid of meat, but there's a, a switch or something that's coming in. Let me see. Yeah, definitely something coming in with diet that's going to be switching off. Now, we have the harvest coming in, and this is a payout. This could be Ten of Pentacles for some people, getting a good opportunity. 
You could be selling products and making a lot of money. Some of you may have a business where you're bringing in your products or your things because remember, we're putting something together. Some of you, if you do grow vegetables or you have some type of food business, I feel like that you're putting something out there. There's recognition. There's growth that's coming. A few of you, this is just an opportunity that brings in money. We have wheat um, stocks, which are could be fertility. For some, this could be money. Definitely opportunities coming in. I feel like some of you may actually be moving or traveling a lot for money opportunities that are coming in. This could be like, I need to go here to do this for this opportunity or this client. You could be teaching. You could be doing some type of ritual. You could be, um, because we got graveyard next to it. So for a few of you, there's a lot of travel that is coming in. Make sure your vehicle is in top shape. We got a long, dark, winding road. Some of y'all could end up on this road with a breakdown. Check your, your oil, your fluids, your tires. Do not take this long trip without looking at your car. Now, for some of you, opportunities are going to be somewhere else. There's things that open up where there's travel. You have somebody that may be trying to stop you or obstacles on an opportunity, but I don't feel like that they're going to go ahead and do it. Normally with the graveyard, I feel like there's a rebirth that's coming in. And then we got crossroads. So we got something that should have been closed off. You may have somebody who's trying to block you or block opportunity, but the opportunity is coming your way. This is a new job. If you have somebody who didn't want to give you a referral or somebody who didn't want to speak up for you, or maybe there was competition and this person was trying to out you, I feel like you got the upper hand. There may be some travel involved with making your money. Some of you, there's multiple clients that are coming in. For a few, this is literally journeying, journeying out to make your money. Now with the graveyard, we got the crossroads on here and this could be a road opener. This could be Kalfu. Um, in Voodoo, we have a spirit and a, lo a Loa that he's at the crossroads and he, he opens up ways for people. And I feel like for a lot of you that you may have something that is going to open up where there's travel involved with it. There's also too a lot of spirit um, connection that's coming in. Pay attention to songs that play over and over in your head, Cappies. There's definitely a message that's coming in. And I feel for some of you, this is a female. Could be a female spirit that is talking to you. I get wife, I get mother. Um, but I do feel that this person is giving you some type of song there to let you know that they're there. So there's some type of communication from the other side that's coming in. A few of you may be doing some type of ritual this Halloween or Hallow's Eve, but there be prepared that there is going to be some messages that come through. Now, for a few of you, if this is not a person who's crossed over, this could be visiting parents. This may be something that you're going to visit a family member, um, a father, a mother, siblings. There's something with travel that's coming in. So for a few of you, there may be more travel that is coming in for the holidays. But definitely, like I say, check your vehicles. Um, we have something where you're falling into harmony and rebirth. Now, if you've been dealing with a shady person, somebody trying to cause obstacles or take something away from you, we have li literally something that opens up with the elements that brings in harmony, which means that fire, water, air, earth are moving in conjunction for you, which causes your rebirth. And for a lot of you, this is really spiritual growth. This is, you know, maybe you went through a situation and now you're looking at things completely different. It's almost like your life is changing. For a few of you, there could really be even a baby that's coming in. Um, we might have something with a person that's telling you that they're pregnant. But I do feel like for a lot of you, there's a lot of spiritual awakening. Something ended so that you could be reborn. You may be having a hard time with this, Cappies. But protection is on top of it. And I feel like that you're trying to go into something in a harmony, but you have opposition to it. It's not going to be there forever. Spirit protection is on top of this rebirth, which means that you're looking at life differently. You're going through some things differently. Your roads are opening. And whatever was trying to hold you back is not going to be able to hold you back. Spirit protection is on top of you. Now, we have this could be coming from the other side. But it is showing that spirit is lifting the bell so that you can see everything that is hidden. So say you have this banshee. This person that is doing some dirty work on you. It's going to be coming to light, Cappies. If this is a supervisor or somebody that you work with, if this is a person in a relationship that is cheating and you find out about it, if this is somebody that is trying to covet what you have and take something away from you, 
they won't be able to do it because spirit is showing that they're going to remove the veil, lift the veil so that you can see who this person is and you can see everything that is clearly as you need to. Some of you are saying that you may have some people who are praying against you, against your your prosperity, against your um you know, your your spiritual growth, your opportunities, which is sad, but for a few of you, and it could be family members because you said in this house, it's showing that some of these people that maybe you consider family are not these people that you need to be around. They're not family. They don't have the best intentions for you. For a few of you, you may be finding out this is co-workers that you consider family. This is friends that you consider family. For some of you, if you're in your spiritual house and you're leaving, you may have some issues either in that house and that could be why you're leaving. Or for a few, you may have left and you have some people that are coming after you. The spirit is saying that whatever it is, you're gonna see it. There's a rebirth. Your vision is opening. Your intuition is strong. Pay attention to what you see. Pay attention to what comes to you in dreams. Pay attention to how people act. Before you sign anything and make a commitment, make sure it's what you want. Make sure that it's good for you. If you're taking any journeys, make sure that you're checking your vehicle, that you're checking your COVID test, that your flight plans or whatever. Some of you definitely have some type of opening that's coming in and the crossroads are showing it brings prosperity to you. But spirit is like, make sure you're ready for it. We definitely have a harvest that's coming in. And for some, this could be fertility. This may be a baby that's coming in with this rebirth card. Let me see. Be careful, too, if you're doing one night stands with the seduction, because there could be a pop-up baby that comes in with this. Some of you, if you are having health issues, I feel like there's going to be some healing that is coming in. It will be coming in in the colder months. This could be holistic medicine that you might need to take. Whatever it is, I feel like that spirit is going to bring it to you. Pay attention to um, prosperity around you, frogs, things that come to you around you that are green. But I definitely feel if you have a lot of frogs around your area, there's something coming in right before this harvest. Some type of prosperity. And we see that somebody already had a harvest and maybe you're holding on to it, but you have somebody that could be trying to take it away. And it looks like it's going to be this person. Whether this is a relationship, um, that you're romantic with this person, business, family, you need to watch your back. You have somebody that is trying to stop you or block you, and it's because they don't want you to have this prosperity. They don't want this rebirth to happen because now you are becoming a problem. When you were complacent and they were able to manipulate you, they liked you better. But now you have some people that are trying to play you because they see that you're going on with your life. You're getting yourself in order. You have things that are opening up and they don't like it. They're stalking you. They're looking at your social media. They work with you. They're looking at you there. If they have, if you have blocked them, they're going to your friends to talk to them because they're trying to tell your people, you know, what's going on. Some of you, you're, there's recognition that's coming in and people are like, okay, well, how is this happening for them? But it was your harvest. So pay attention to that banshee. Some of you, you're going to have to cut ties with this person. A lot of you, I feel like you know this person. This person is around you or they're at least on your social media. All right, Cappies? Be careful, but the harvest is yours. The rebirth is yours. Remember, they're going to lift that veil and let you see who your enemies are. And when you see it, don't take them back. Don't take them back. They'll fuck you up. It's not worth it, Cappies. All right? Love you.